Hi, I'm Liz Rump for the Wisconsin Technology Council, here with WISBusiness.com, the show. Brought to you by Grant Thornton, Whitehurst Beck Dudek, Madison Gas and Electric, and the University of Wisconsin at Milwaukee. On today's show, Tom Still, in his commentary, talks about a federal inquiry into Google's internet search practices. And Ted Lasser of Milwaukee's Vet Transfer talks about efforts to help military veterans become entrepreneurs. I'll be right back with the WISBusiness.com stock report for early July 2011. What has made Grant Thornton one of the largest accounting organizations in the world, with resources in more than 100 countries worldwide? Is it their global capabilities, or is it their passion for how they serve their clients? Grant Thornton. And now, here's the WISBusiness.com stock report for early July 2011. Rising Sustainable Manufacturing, a pilot program overseen by the Wisconsin Manufacturing Extension Partnership is drawing praise from businesses and others. Funded largely through federal stimulus dollars and some state money, the WMEP project provides assistance to small and mid-sized manufacturers looking to increase sustainability. Proponents say it will generate $54 million in economic impact over time. The 45 companies involved have invested $3.6 million so far and are expected to reap about $27 million in savings and $23 million in retained and increased sales over five years. And falling. Iron mining. Opponents of a proposed iron mine in far northern Wisconsin get at least a temporary victory when Gogebic Taconite says it will put its mine proposal on hold pending a legislative change in state regulations. The bill to streamline the mine approval process, which appeared to be on the fast track earlier this year, has yet to be introduced in the legislature. Gogebic isn't saying it won't move ahead, but it has asked that predictable regulations be enacted first. That's the WISBusiness.com stock report. Go to WISBusiness.com for more on these and other stories. And now, here's Tom Still with his Inside Wisconsin commentary. He may be nearing the end of his career on Capitol Hill, but U.S. Senator Herb Cole is playing a key role in the Federal Trade Commission's inquiry into the internet search practices of technology giant Google. Cole, the Wisconsin Democrat who won't seek re-election in 2012, is the chairman of the Senate subcommittee that may hold hearings on allegations by the FTC that Google is stifling internet search competition. The FTC recently served notice to Google that it has become the target of an antitrust case. The case is based on charges that Google is using strategic acquisitions and subtle mathematical changes in its search engines to control online searches by consumers and others. At stake is a battle over online search advertising, which is worth billions of dollars to Google and its competitors, and which affects prices paid by companies that want online customers to find them and their products. A coalition of business interests called Fair Search contends Google has unfairly captured significant shares of the online video, map, and book markets, and is poised to do the same in travel, shopping, and other commercial sectors. Others believe Google shouldn't be penalized for being bigger or smarter than its competitors, and that shrewd acquisitions and business practices can be a far cry from any competitive behavior. In fact, Google has already taken to reminding consumers of its value to the economy through newspaper ads and other forums. In Wisconsin alone, Google estimates its impact at $643 million through 22,400 Wisconsin businesses, website publishers, and nonprofit groups. The FTC is looking into whether Google unfairly puts its own results at the top of the search list, where it's most likely to be followed by users. For example, if a user searched via Google for Map of Milwaukee, the Google Map might come up above MapQuest. Google says it doesn't rig the results of such searches and that there are plenty of alternatives through other search engines, direct navigation to websites, mobile applications, and social media. Companies such as those included in the Fair Search group disagree, saying e-commerce today is all about being found on the internet, and that Google is making it harder for small businesses to be found unless they advertise directly with Google. Some observers doubt the FTC inquiry will result in findings of anti-competitive behavior, given the FTC has approved key acquisitions by Google in the past. Still, the company now confronts three formal antitrust inquiries on two continents, the other two being in Texas and Europe. It remains to be seen how Cole's subcommittee proceeds with hearings and who speaks for Google, but the controversy over internet search competition doesn't appear to be going away anytime soon. Thanks, Tom. I'll be right back with Ted Lasser of Milwaukee's Vet Transfer. 
White Hirschbeck Dudek represents companies at all stages of development and in a wide range of industries to navigate the legal challenges of regional, national, and global growth. At WHD, every stage takes center stage. I'm back with Ted Lasser of Vet Transfer, which is helping military veterans become entrepreneurs. Thanks for joining us, Ted. Thank you. Thank you very much. What is VetTransfer.org? VetTransfer.org is an organization that is designed to help veterans become entrepreneurs. It's based here in Milwaukee. It's a federal funded organization that allows a veteran to accelerate or to start a company from scratch or from an existing organization that they would like to grow. And so our, our task or our job is actually to assist a veteran to learn how to be an entrepreneur. And why do you think veterans are well positioned to become entrepreneurs? What we've found in the past, uh, working with veterans and being a veteran, uh, is the management opportunities that are given to us by being in the military can be applied to actually a fully uh, functional business manager and owner. Uh, taking those traits and those skills that the military has given us allows us the opportunity to actually build uh, a, a very large uh, or a very successful organization over time. How will you measure success over time? The success is measured on actually as a vet walks in our door, where can we help them? It's based on the fact that if a veteran is not an entrepreneurial uh, material, then we'll help them determine where they need assistance through the VA. If they are uh, uh, an, an entrepreneur at heart and they have the ability to actually become uh, uh, a business owner, then we will assist them in creating that, that job and we'll monitor them for a period of five years. Uh, they actually never leave the organization uh, because if they are successful, they may sell a business and they may want to come back into the program and start another company. Uh, so our success is based on helping each individual entrepreneur become uh, a successful business and it's measured either in uh, dollar volume of sales or it could be, uh, could be an exit strategy that was successful. Um, those are things that will be determined over time. Thanks Ted and thank you for watching this edition of WISBusiness.com The Show. The show is produced by WISBusiness.com and the Wisconsin Technology Council and sponsored by Grant Thornton, White Respect Dudek, MG&E, and UW-Milwaukee. Visit our websites to read and learn more. I'm Liz Shrum. See you next time.